Hello and welcome to my video on 2.2 exponents 0 and base 10. This is 2.2 from the Math Makes Sense 9 textbook. Um, so we have two sort of really, really short and easy uh, topics here that we have to cover. Um, and they're, like I said, really, really easy. I'm going to show you a couple examples um, and then I'll show you sort of our number system and how they all relate. And hopefully by the end of this, uh, these two topics will make sense. So first of all, um, we're going to put a couple numbers that we do know. Two, oh, let's make that a little bit thinner. Okay, 2 to the 1, we should know, is 2. Anything to the 1 is just itself. Okay? 2 to the 2 is, whoopsies, 4. 2 to the 3 is 8. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So this is our pattern going up. Now I'm going to try to show you another one. And between them both, we're going to try to guess what 2 to the 0 means. Okay? So first of all, we have 10 to the 0 here. We'll do that. Uh, 10 to the 1, what is that? 10. 10 uh, to the 2. It's 10 times 10, that's 100. 10 to the 3. 10 times 10 times 10. You add up all those zeros to give you 1,000. And so if we look at both of these, uh, you see a pattern emerging. What would the next one be? based off this pattern? Well, we divide by 10 every time, right? So if we take 10, let, here, I'll, maybe I'll show you what I mean by we divide by 10. If you take 1,000 and you divide by 10, what do you get? 100, right? If you take 100 and you divide by 10, what do you get? 10. Now, to get 10 to the 0, if you take 10, you divide by 10, what do you get? 1. This explains why this answer is 1. And the same thing sort of fits over here. If you get 8, divide by 2, what do you get? You get 4, which is shown right there. Take two, 4, divide by 2, you get what? 2. Take 2, divide by 2, you get what? 1. So this is the exponent 0. It's showing just that anything to exponent 0, I'm going to do 32, it's not a very nice 3, 32 to the 0, what is that? It's still 1. Anything to the exponent 0 is 1. That's simply the answer, okay? Now, with the numbers that we do know with base 10 here, we can see a pattern emerging the other way. Let's see the pattern coming out this way. 10 to the 4, what is that? 10,000, okay? Now, you might be able to guess the next one being 100,000, the next one being a million, et cetera, going up and up and up. Good, you, you see the pattern. I'm gonna show you a simpler way beyond the pattern or easier than the pattern to remember this. For base 10, it's so easy uh, that we don't even need to look for the pattern. Do you see this exponent number here? For the exponent 0, how many zeros are showing? There are no zeros. There's zero zeros, right? For the exponent 1, how many zeros are showing? There is one zero, right? And same thing with the next one, two zeros going up, right? What's interesting to notice is that whatever the exponent is, that is the number of zeros. So 2 here gives us 2 here. 3 here gives us 1, 2, 3 here. 4 here gives us 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's really interesting to notice that. Okay, that's the topic. Okay, but we'll keep going with the video and show a couple examples of how this might show up. But that is the topic. That is the entirety of the topic. There's really nothing else to say other than to show um, how this could be asked in questions.
Okay, so I'm going to erase this. <coughs> now, what can be asked is um, to make something into uh, scientific notation, or what they call it uh, is power form, or base 10 power form, or something like that. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. If we have the number 3,272, what we do to change this into power form, or the, my word for it is scientific notation, um, which is how most people eventually call it, the textbook doesn't call it that, but eventually it'll get called that, is you take the number and you write down the first digit. So the first digit's here, the three, right? Write down the three. Then you put a dot, a decimal. Then you write down the rest of the numbers. Okay? Now, to get the decimal there, how did we have to move it? Well, we have to figure out where the decimal was. The decimal was right there. So we had to move it one, two, three spots. So what we write is we write times 10 to the how many times do we have to change? One, two, three spots. So 10 to the three. Okay. Now if we had another question, um, let's do this one. So seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Write that in scientific notation. What we start with is we start with seven point six five four three two one times ten to the what? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've moved it six times in the decimal. So ten to the six. Now what if we see a number that looks like this? Seven six five dot four three two one. Then our first part is going to look the same, 7.654321 times 10, but it's not to the 6, we have to watch carefully. There's the dot here, so we move it 1, 2 times. Okay, so it changes depending where the dot is. You have to be aware of that. Um, the other sort of funky example is if we have... 0 0.00632 to change that to scientific notation we need to move the decimal the other direction 1 2 3 okay so the same process as before 6.32 and now times 10 to the 1 2 3 but it's the opposite direction so it's minus 3 Okay, so these are all uh, classic examples of scientific notation, and it is common to be asked a question like this. The other way it could be asked is if you have that number, scientific notation, so 44.32 times 10 to the 3, what is the value? Well, you can write 4, 3, 2, 0. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the decimal place. One, two, three. And we see there's one missing there, so we need to add a zero. Okay, I'm moving it three times because here, this says three times. All right. That is basically scientific notation in a nutshell. Um, and that is basically the majority of the questions you might see. Uh, the one thing I want to mention here is you might see a question that looks kind of different, like 4 times 10 to the 4 plus 3 times 10 to the 2 plus 6 times 10 to the one, um, 1. Okay, Let's say that is your number. Oftentimes they'll put it in brackets to make it more obvious, but either way it would be the same. So we're adding each of these all three of these terms up. Now what you could do is you could literally do the math and get 4 times 10 to the 4 so we add 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros and 3 times 10 to the 2, 2 zeros, 6 times 10 to the 1, 1 zero. So you could do that math and then add them up. 
Oh, whoops, not zero, six, zero. Six, zero, like that. Um, so you could do the math like that, but you can also recognize this amazing fact, and this is our place value system. 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, 4, 10 to the 5, 10 to the 6. I'm just going to do a couple of these. So if it asks you this question, you can look at 10 to the 0. Are there any of those? No. So put a 0. Are there any 10 to the 1s? Well, yes, there was the 6. Are there any 10 to the 2s? Yes, there was the 3. Are there any 10 to the 3s? No. Put a 0. Are there any 10 to the 4s? Yes. Put that 4. Are there any 10 to the 5s or bigger? No. So we're going to ignore those. Okay. That number looks an awful lot like that number. So it's really quite cool. This is how our place value system works. This is an important fact of, of how we count. Um, the fact that we count with base 10 is um, probably due to our 10 digits, but it has become so much more than that. It's become fundamental to the way that we do math. And this is an important uh, thing to look at. Now, this is base 10. For interest's sake, I'm going to show you base 0. Base 0 is, uh, not base 0, base <laughs> 2. Base 0, that's weird. Um, 2, 4, 5, 6. Now, if it has base 2, based off the last topic, um, we can't go higher than 1. So count 1, 0, 1, that's the highest we can count. So in base 10, the highest we can count is 1 minus, like 10 minus 1. Base 2, 2 minus 1. That's the highest we can count, right? And base 3, the highest we can count is 2, etc. So this is our highest value. Those are the two numbers we can use. In base 10, it goes all the way up to 9, but it's the same idea, okay? This might be a little bit trippy for you, but hopefully it makes sense. Now, what you can do is you can put numbers in here, and it will give you a value. Now, when I have this one time, like one in by this one here, what that means is 1 times 2 to the 3 plus 1 times 2 to the 1, which is this one. The other zeros you don't even need to put. And now we can get our number. Uh, so 2 to the 3 is 8, plus 2 to the 1 is 2, so our number is 10. Okay, so like an actual 10 in the way that in base 10, this is base 10, so we're just, this is showing you how to convert. Um, this is a really cool way of showing this here is binary. So this base 10, so I'm going to say base 10 here is 1010 in base 2, or what we call uh, binary. This is computer language. Okay, so this topic is is actually quite interesting. It shows us a little bit about place value, um, but starting with base ten. And so I'm going to stop there uh, for the video. But it sort of it it preps us for this kind of thinking when we're looking at this kind of thinking. Okay. So I hope that video helps you guys a little bit, um, and good luck on this topic.